today I'll be doing like a PLC flex. So these are Delta special registers. They call it Delta special registers, but uh, they are calling them auxiliary because they are M. It's an M. It's an internal relay. So basically, what do you call? What do you mean by a flag? So a flag is a predefined bit. It's a bit that is like a, it's pre-programmed. It's doing something already. You don't need to do anything to it. It performs its function whether you like it or not, or it's just there doing its own thing. So all you have to do is to grab and just use it where it's applicable to your to your situation. So we have like a lot of uh, PLC flags in a Delta PLC. If you can check all of these M's, they are flags. They'll be doing something, but you only use them when you are doing something that need that flag. So today I'll be doing like the basic flags that we use on our daily basis, like uh, M1000. M1000 is a monitoring normal open conduct. It's a normal open conduct. That's when a PLC moves, as you can see in the manual here. From stop to run this bit becomes on so I'm just gonna do an example uh, we say m1000 right mm. uh, and then we put y0 so suppose you've got a program that you want to write and um, the moment you switch on your PLC you just want a certain panel light to switch on to just show you that the PLC is on or there is power or the PLC is ready so you can just use a bit like M1000 there you don't need to do any logic you just have to use a bit like M1000 there let's say we do it this way you see if you do it this way it will tell you that it's an illegal it's an illegal instruction if you do it this way so you just need a dummy thing here but with the core principle that you want to do is you just want a light to switch on the moment your PLC goes on so you just put this dummy here which is an M1000 a bit you can use it as many times as you can you can duplicate it as many times as you can so mm, there we go mm, you can see so our PLC is in run that bit M1000 is on as it's saying in the manual so we are now moving on to m1 monitoring normally closed right when a poc moves from stop to run it becomes off so this one is just an opposite of m1000 so it's like um let's say uh, you are being okay you are being called for a call out and there are some modifications that you must do to the program you must disable something so you just go in your rang and then you just put m1001 that ram that rang is completely deactivated by a bit you see the other way that you can do like to deactivate you inactivate your network here but uh, i'm not talking about that i'm just explaining uh, special registers at the moment so this bit when the plc goes from stop to run it deenergizes it's off is the opposite of the M1000. So let me do it this way. I go online. As you can see, it's just the opposite of uh, M1000. And basically, because they are saying when you're moving from stop to run, it becomes off. So it's an opposite and then i'm moving on to m1002 enabling positive pulses on when run so it's saying uh, when you move from stop to run uh, it goes on it goes on like what m1000 do but uh like what m m1000 does but this um is a pulse take note it's a pulse so we come here we move on to our m1002 this one you don't see it so the best way to do this is to put a a move okay let me do it this way and then you see the difference 
you don't see a pulse by your oh by your, your your naked eye so if i switch on like this the pulse this thing is already on for one scan time but you don't see it so the best way for you to see is to put a a move Like this right so suppose um your plc you want to move certain numbers let's say i put two there then i put d0 there so let's say you want with the moment you switch on your plc or when the power comes it might it must move certain numbers in certain registers like uh, your set points and stuff so you put m1002 there so the moment the plc goes on it moves this data into that it just provides a pulse it just provides a pulse from stop to run usually when you are switching on your plc from stop to run that's what happens but for only the the first scan cycle the first scan cycle right there you go this data is already here but through one scan time that's the whole idea through one scan time take note through one scan time it's not always continuously on like uh, m1000 you see and um m1003 enabling negative pulses off when run how do i explain m1003 in a manner that you understand right when you come to this graph uh, this is our plc when it goes to run you see when you go to run m1000 is it rises and it remains on until it's off uh, m1001 is always off we already done that and then m1002 when the plc goes to run it just is on for one pulse you see it's on for one pulse and then m1003 what are they saying here they are saying m1003 is off during the first scan when plc starts to run so it's off in the first scan and remains on afterwards you see enables you know, enables negative direction of immediate so they're saying uh it's, it's just operates like an m1002 but they are saying uh during the first scan time when the plc starts to run and remains on so m1003 i'm just gonna put m1003 here it's just the same thing not much difference there but just that it's a negative Just like that. Oh, I am supposed to put a three to make a difference. To make a difference. So M one thousand and three is very rare. It's very rare. We normally use M one thousand. Yeah, you see. So it's just like off in the first in off during the first scan time when the POC start to run and remains on afterward so it's just it's the same thing it's the same thing but it's just off in the first scan time so these are just like the basic basic flex that we use but take note of the m1000 m1002 you will see them appearing mostly even in the examples in the manual this m1002 yeah let's say you want to set like mode bus communication bits when you are switching on your plc you use m1002 and m1000 is also very common uh, so this is like general general bits that you normally use so uh, let me move on to let me move on to uh, maybe in the next video uh, in the next video if this was very helpful to you guys just click the subscribe button please just keep the subscribe button so that it others can see the video as quickly as possible so in the next video i'm going to do like a uh, the flags of uh time of time let's say m um, find m um, uh, 1011 something like this uh I'm going to do these clock pulses, these flags for time uh, in the next video. So, thank you.